Hello friends, it is I, Self-Critical Automaton. I have just been on a trip. I have just left my current town of residence for the first time in three years and had an extremely exhausting day away. So I may not be 100% compost mentis as we dip into a game I've played before, which is Teardown. Anyway, I've played this before. I made it like a third of the way through the campaign. I'm actually going to start over because I just really enjoy it. The campaign mode is more about its uh, sequence of missions than it is uh, about any about its narrative, although it does have a narrative. Um, because this is one of those games that's really all more about its design. Although the vibes of its location are also really nice. Um, there's a real sense of a sense of place, which is one of the more impressive things to achieve in a game like this. And uh, yeah, in uh, in this game, you play some guy who owns Lockell Teardown Services. An independent um, demolition technician, I guess is what you'd call it. It's a very fun game, which I think is a single a single person developer team. Might be might be two or three, um, who have created this like voxel system for physics and destruction, so that stuff breaks realistically based on material properties and then collapses properly based on physics, which is nice to see and fun to play with. Replace the fuse to turn on the power. Oh, it is very satisfying. It's a very fun game because it's it's kind of weird. It's sort of an immersive sim, um, but the objective is kind of speedrunning because, as we'll see in a minute, in most of the missions, you will at some point set off an alarm, at which point you have a certain amount of time to escape. Because, spoiler warning, some of the demolitions we do may not be entirely sanctioned. By the way, can you hear... If I do, if I make the noises good, can you hear it good? Okay, let me know if I need to adjust it at any point. Um, so you're kind of, so it's almost a speedrunning game. You you have to construct your your own paths through this environment by you know knocking down telephone poles to make bridges or whatever other techniques you decide to deploy. So. Um, so it's got this kind of immersive sim vibe, except that you're not dodging around people. All of the places you go are completely empty. But you're exploring these really high detail, believable locations. Um, <laughs> and then attempting to construct the fastest possible route by which to escape. Um, so it's really interesting. And it's got a puzzle sense, a sense of puzzling as well as you uh, um, figure out how to do various things. Tracy, gas bill just dropped on the floor. I'm honestly not sure we can make it through the month. Are you getting any requests? At this point, we have to accept anything. Be creative. Hugs, mom. Head of sales, look out her own services. This just came in. Sounds kind of fishy, but we need the money. Are you up for it? <clears throat> Good evening. My name is Gordon Wu, general manager at Evertides Mall. I have a slight problem with an old building that's blocking our plans for a new wing, and I'll need someone to knock it over. I need it gone by tomorrow, and I'd be willing to pay more than the standard rate for extra discretion, quick execution, and uncomfortable hours. Would you be able to take care of it? So he doesn't say outright that this is uh, an illegal vandalism, but it 100% is. Hi, Wuxrove. Anyway, yeah, as I was saying, I've uh, massively, um, massively overstressed myself over the last couple of days. So I will sound croaky and fucked up because my lungs and throat are all croaky and fucked up. So this introduces us to, to like the most basic mechanics. You've got your uh, sledgehammer that you can use to smash stuff, but you can also improvise with items in the environment, such as propane tanks, which will explode if they get hit too hard. 
which is useful because you can do stuff like stuff. Ow. Because you can do stuff like explode your own face. <clears throat> anyway, there should be a fireplace in here somewhere that's a bit of a pain to knock down, but you can also just throw them and smash them, or you can make use with other things you might find in your environment, such as this shed that you can physically pull over with your hands, which is just funny to me. <clears throat> Fun fact, before modern demolition techniques, the way you destroyed a building was to literally pull it down. That's why they call removing old buildings pulling down buildings. Protected cultural heritage. Oh, it's worse than we thought. I'll just pretend I didn't see that. Not only is this probably a house someone lives in, it's of historic interest. Your sledgehammer is good enough to smash wood and plaster, but you need explosives or something more powerful to destroy brick or metal. Um, there is, to some extent, uh, a weight simulation, you know, with heavy things will, will bend under their weight. However, Unlike the general physics of things smashing one another, which is simulated, um, this staircase is... Uh, sorry. This... Up, the upper stories of this entire building is being lift, is being held up by just that. Which I do think is a little bit of a shame. It would be nice if there was a bit more of a... a view of stuff collapsing under its own weight. Anyway. Time to jam gas cans in the fireplace. Let's see what we can achieve through the medium of incredible but non-personal violence. Just jam that right up in there. I don't know if there's any more lying around, actually. I'll just have to make, make do with the few I have. We'll unlock tons more tools over the course of the game as well. Uh, unimpressive. Which means, of course, that it's time to resort to heavy industry. Luckily, this takes place in a fantasy world where the invention of ignition keys as a protective feature for uh, vehicles has yet to occur. So you can freely hijack pretty much any vehicle you like and use it for whatever nefarious uh, activities you wish. Oh, hello, what's that? I played this mission before, but I never noticed... Oh, okay. I wanted to have a look at the little beach umbrella situation, but uh, I've, I've reached the edge of the holodeck, I guess. Anyway, I'm spending way too long on the tutorial mission, because uh, I can't shut the fuck up. So in this kind of mission, it judges your success by how tall the building remains, which is really funny to me. Because it does mean that the obvious solution to destroy this building, of knock out the ground floor and let it collapse in on itself, just doesn't work. Because <laughs> it will just slump down on itself with no real problems or issues. I appear to have got myself stuck, but that's fine, because you know what? There are always more industrial vehicles where this one came from. In fact, there's a whole heap more explosives here, I've just realised. Is there anything in that? Sometimes there's objects in shipping crates. And sometimes there is not. Anyway, if you were the kind of person who played with a lot of Lego when you were little, but then were disappointed that it didn't, like, collapse if you smashed a vehicle into a building, this is the game for you.
regardless, this is the uh, this is the story of a man forced by circumstance to become a vandal of historic buildings, which is truly the worst fate that could befall a human being. Oh, it's the Municipality Folk Museum. Oh dear. As someone who's very fond of small local museums, and in fact the highlight of my recent trip out of town was visiting one such, I find this heartbreaking. That's oh, the punishment alarm. Oops. One of the neat little things is that uh, in between each mission, you get sent back to your to your home base, and his um, loft conversion slowly progresses a little bit further. Has he got his fridge attached to a car battery? That's cool. Smart man. Uh, smart man with a fridge full of what I assume are frozen green things. Oh good. I'm so glad you I'm so glad you tried this after after the last time I streamed it works for Every time I hear that someone played a game because I I talked about it and showed off how great it was, I'm like, ah. I've had an influence. That means I can call myself an influencer. Got to make sure you pump iron a bit between the missions to get your uh, bicep stat up. Oops. Ah, well, more where that came from. There's also usually a little news report about whatever terrible thing you did. I've played this game a lot. I've played like 25 hours of this game, but I keep starting the campaign over and I've never made it more than like halfway through. <laughs> the locally famous Locale Folk Museum has been demolished. Caretaker and enthusiast Brett Johnson found the building raised when arriving this morning. According to the police, the perpetrators did a quick job on the old building. This is not a particularly interesting report. What a morning. We shouldn't have taken that job. I knew something wasn't right. That building was under, under cultural heritage protection and the demolition is now part of a criminal investigation. Miss Turdeman at the office just sent me this photo. They must have caught you on traffic cameras heading towards the mall. The very last thing we need right now is an investigation. I tried sweet-talking her and she thought she could get the case dropped, asking for a favour in return. I don't know what she wants, but I'll do it. She'll email you. Just so you know, I don't usually do this, but I'm stuck on a case and I need to try something new. I've been investigating Lawrence Lee Jr. over tax evasion for months now, but he has so many friends in town I can't get a warrant. How about you use your skills to borrow the computers at Lee Chemicals so I can finally access his customer registry and sort this mess out? If you do this for me, I'll make sure your blunder is forgotten. I like that the, uh... I mean, <laughs> obviously in real life the police do unethical shit all of the time, but, um... I like that uh, there's no question of, uh, will this, will this actually be admissible evidence if we steal a bunch of computers from Lee Chemicals, Estid 1922? Because surely this is illegally obtained evidence and therefore not admissible. Anyway, we have one, two, and three. Uh, and it looks like the only security is a fire alarm, which will be triggered by, uh, which will, means an alarm will go off if I start a bunch of fires, which is tempting. Stolen a pneumatic wrench worth $50. I suppose, now that I think about it, you kind of just immediately go all in on the, on the crimes. You demolish one old building, and then suddenly it's uh, petty thefts a go go. There's really, there's really not a, a moment of ethical consideration in this man's brain. But then I suppose that's necessary in the rough and tumble, competitive industry of uh, work for hire demolitions. It's got a nice, uh, boppy little, um, sort of 2002 era 
synth soundtrack, actually. Reminds me a lot of Deus Ex. Oh, I should replay Deus Ex. Consider this, Wuxtruf. You'd be most annoyed if someone destroyed your flat in order to steal your stuff. Which is the experience guys in this game will have of me. Because you make way more money doing petty theft in the places you're uh, doing missions in than you do actually doing the missions. <laughs> Every single level has uh, little collectibles hidden away. I think they're all unique as well, or most of them are. I found some power tools and I found a box of money. But there's plenty more to find. I don't think I've ever found 100% of the, the things, but there is always more. And that's actually what I'm doing right now. I'm uh, searching for shit to steal. Aha! Disc cutter. Alright, that's that building. What's in this brick building? I might talk a little less than usual as well because of my damaged lungs and sore throat. I guess there's nothing in this building. I thought there was something, but you never know. Now that I think about it, he'll steal anything that's not nailed down, but he doesn't steal vehicles, or at least you don't get money for stealing vehicles. I mean, you generally aren't stealing expensive things in this game either. A lot of the things you find are like, here's a, here's a $40 adjustable wrench. <laughs> Is there something up there? It might be. Aha! An assortment of tools. If I climb up here directly, I might be able to. Aha! There we go. I'm a genius! One of the, uh, I think one of the titles of uh, the streams I gave this previously was Genius of Larceny, which is just such a good phrase, but I can't think of a good way to sneak it into conversation now. Tragic. I mean, it's probably easiest to fence small, identical, mass-produced tools than it is anything else, because you can just take those to your mate and be like, oh, I have a, I bought a new wrench. Do you want this old wrench that I have? Oh, whoops. And then he's like, how did you know I love wrenches? Whereas if you want to steal, even if it's not on an international uh, registry, if you want to steal some kind of... Uh, Very big fancy TV, you might need to uh, fence that to an actual fence, which is hard to find, or fence it to like a pawn shop or something, P-A-W-N, not P-O-R-N, although I don't know if they also buy stolen goods. Um, in which case, they might require some kind of proof of previous ownership, haha, <laughs> fantastic. On uh, on the levels where they don't have a major time limit, I really enjoy just uh, taking my time with it and trying to cause as little damage as possible. Feels more elegant. Fifty Shades of Capitalism by Kirsten Strabag. Don't erase. Attic is off limits to all employees. West Point Marina by Enid Cummins. Uh, that line about the attic is a clue. 
Oh, hey, I did. Oh my god, you can read the books? I've never seen that before. I've played so much of this game and I never realized I could read the books. What was that one? Family Business Super Bible. Tax evasion made easy. Let me see if I can knock this over. There we go, great. Let's see what we can find up in the rafters. If I can get up there. Oops. Because it's so physics-y, things can bump into other things and kind of get stuck to them, which means you sometimes do that on your way to find Lee's de <laughs> tax-deductible pension fund. I feel like you should have more than $400 in it, even if it is, like, 1976, which it can't be, because there's, like, a printer. Now, just by chance, I happen to know that one of these walls, or, because I played this before, has a, uh, a secret in it somewhere. Aha! Hidden cash. I think there might be another one in one of these walls, but I'm not going to smash them all right now. Lee, Tau 415, 2 Amino, Ethel, Sulfonic. Oh, okay. <laughs> Whatever. He shouldn't be leaving these TVs on overnight. That's really energy inefficient. It's um, not very green for this chemicals company. I feel like I should be able to steal things from the soda machine. Or the coffee machine. But no. Hmm, door's locked. You know what, uh, I'm gonna break my own rules, I can't... Oh, of course, I can't break out through the wall because I only have a sledgehammer. Yeah, honestly, the amount they'll save with me um, going around turning off all their TVs is way more than they're losing in my petty theft. Just, frankly, they should be paying me for all of my energy saving techniques. Uh, let's see, there's definitely several several items that I've missed from lying around here. But we'll come back here later and pick up any more if I can find them. There's at least one more place to look. The energy generation stations. Now, why did I think coming in here was had any point at all? They don't even lock the door. Whoops. Opening opening metal doors can smash walls because, um, as far as I can tell, the the simulation of destruction is based primarily on the like weight or density, maybe values of the thing you're opening or the thing you're touching, the thing you're moving. Agent B4 comic collection, $75. So you can, if you want to, and just a wallet worth $120. No money in it, it's just a valuable wallet. <laughs> um, so yeah, like you can pick up like a metal thing off the ground and smash walls with it if you want to, which takes a while and is a bit irritating. It's much more fun and fast to use tools. Um, but in a pinch, you can get away with doing that. Is this gonna kill me if I drop off of here? No. Can't 
calf, calf muscles like uh, melons this man has. Oh, hell yeah. Check out that perfect three-point turn. Yeah, you're right, Wookshrift. This is, I think, the most recurring map in the I love that I was so proud of that extremely smooth three-point turn where I didn't smash into either of the gates and then I immediately <laughs> drive into a tree. This feels like the kind of place where they would hide a thing for me to find, but I don't see one here. Oh, that does not get me back across the river. Okay. Look, we all sometimes drive in the wrong direction for a bit in life. Am I going to have to swim or take my own way back? Ugh, that's irritating. I thought that was a rowboat. That aren't those like as slow as walking or swimming? Oh well, fair enough. Too late now, though. All right, I should stop fucking around and uh, actually finish my job. I've found all but one of the computers. That's the final one dead ahead. I think I might have missed a couple buildings, actually. Yeah, that one over there. I'll have a quick look in case there's anything obvious laying around. Oh, ho, 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 ho. such as these titanium screwdriver bits. In here as well. Aha! <laughs> Deduct tax deductible college fund. Lovely. If your robo goes fast because you're riding the tide, it's not really uh, the robo that's going fast, is it? It's the tide. I'm not going to watch every single one of these. Little beer can hat for my precious television. Anyway, yeah, every time you come back here, it's a little bit more constructed. It's a little bit more advanced. It's quite nice, actually. He, he successfully builds himself like a... A pretty, uh, like, uh, pretty bougie warehouse conversion to live in, which is kind of delightful, since he's clearly building it for himself, based on his uh, ill-gotten gains. Which is also what he gets if you remember to uh, lift these every time. It doesn't actually do anything. Well, it would be cool if it did, like the grip strength training you can do in uh, Metal Gear Solid 2. Customer registry indicates Lee's worked almost exclusively with a single client recently. The client is referred only to B, uh, refer, referred to only as BT with no further details. So I really have to bother you with another favor. Head back to Lee Chemicals and fetch their employee login devices. I should be able to cross-reference their log files with the de delivery schedule to figure out where they're moving the product and what BT means. I heard they installed a new security system. Be careful. So yeah, we immediately go back to Lee Chemicals. I have a, a preconceived notion that Lee is an asshole, but I don't know why. I just hate this man. Do not drink. Yeah, the chemical runoff pond. He's just, he's just got asshole vibes. 
Quiles Security Anti-Theft Protection System. What? He's locked his gates. How dare he? Unacceptable. Uh, however, I do have a solution to locked gates. Which is to climb a tree. I should be able to unlatch it from the other side. I guess that doesn't make much sense. So, today I have to grab three targets, and if I grab any of them, the alarm goes off. Which means it's time to plot a route. Usually I end up going from uh, like this, this to here, to here, and then out, since this is here. But you could also do it that way around. Um... You're still describing the same three, you know, three sides of a square, whichever way you choose to do it. So let's uh, let's get started. If I want my start point to be over this end, I'll need a quick way to cross the river. So there's a few different ways to arrange that. Probably my best option. It's going to be to hop out the window and then cross on the upper level. In the past I've chopped things down to make paths, but that's not actually easier. So I can jump up here and then cross on here. That's the next one. In the room directly ahead of me. So I can jump to here. If I make sure this is already open, then I can run in and grab this one. And then... Hop out this window. Well, I might want to pile up some more junk to make the climb a little bit easier. Boom, that takes me here. Then the next one is in the building dead ahead from here. So I can hop up onto this and then, oh dear. Okay, I need a way to get onto that roof a little bit more easily. It's not difficult though. I'll just put a crate or something up there. I noticed they've installed a staircase here. There wasn't one previously. I wonder how the uh, technicians got in. There might be new treasure up there, I'm not sure. Oh, there is. You know, you're right, Big Dikery. Um, <clears throat> you do find a lot of tax deductibles and uh, secret stuff like that. Can I just knock a hole in the bottom? <laughs> oh, there was just a screwdriver out here. Okay. Wait, what? Oh my god, there were two dollars worth of uh, uh, bottle deposits I could get back in this trash. Are you kidding me? I've never found that one before. That's amazing. Wow, two dollars. I'm going to put my kids through college on that one. What would be really interesting was is a game like this that could react dynamically to what you do. I can't get through that. I'm just going to... I can probably explode that actually. Where's the there's gotta be some explosives around here. Oh look, they're halfway through installing the new security systems. <laughs> Let's 
I'm not sure if every version of a mission has a different number of... a different set of collectibles, or if... Like, if you find collectible 1 in mission 1, will it not be there in the second time you do that mission? Let's see if this works. There we go, that's more like it. Hmm, I don't see anything new up here. No Michael scope. Nothing in the doodad. Oops. Yeah, oops. It's fine. It's only Lee. We don't care about Lee. Right, so I need to go there. So that's behind me, out this way. Through. Up. And then it's there. And then I can come out this window. Boom. And if I land in a car here, I can just leave... There was a truck. Ah, there it is. This one's nippy, it should do. Perfectly smooth. Not a single hint I was ever here. Ooh, nearly in the drink, but it's fine. how often this alleyway factors into my plans for uh, Lee, Lee Chemicals heists. It's just very convenient. Garage, no customers allowed. Oops. On the other hand, I'm not a customer, so who cares? Alright, see you, big dikery. Uh, I should be back to my previous schedule Tuesdays and Fridays at 7.30pm UK time. Um, and this will be my ongoing game for the next little while, I think. I think I'm done with CK3 for now. By the way, anyone who's watching who doesn't know already, I have a YouTube channel where I archive some old thingamajigs. And uh, as old, older streams I try and archive there, and I also make in-depth Let's Plays, although that's on hiatus at the moment. So, follow me here, follow me there. Check me out, I'm super great. Oh, hi, Truck and Dazzy. I don't think I've ever played Seven Days to Die, I don't even know what it is. I assume that's what 7DTD means. 7D2D. All right, um, because I'm a control freak and obsessive, I'm going to make sure I know my exact route so I don't get lost, which is a trick that is not necessary for this level really, but will come will be fairly useful sometimes. Okay, so we start here, we go to this window, hop on here, go out, then it's this way, onto here. Now actually, can I fit through that, can I jump from here through that window? If I can do that, that might be slightly faster. it's Minecraft and a zombie shooter do you mean it's like um 
like uh, voxely, like Minecraft is? Or is it like a uh, properly 3D modeled game? I was really surprised when the visual aesthetic of Minecraft caught on as a visual aesthetic that game designers like to use in general. All right, I can jump through here. Yeah, that's probably gonna be very, that's like a fraction of a second faster. <laughs> Cause Minecraft's use of that aesthetic was purely functional. It was the only, um, you know, they, they, they did not wish to invest in a more complex visual style. And I've always thought Minecraft's spectacularly ugly but such is life. Anything popular that children love becomes the next big thing forever. Oh yeah, I, I played a bunch of Ark Survival Evolved. Uh, I enjoyed that a lot, but I think it dis doesn't respect the player's time enough. Um, and the multiplayer environment was uh, not toxic, toxic exactly, but certainly not what I wanted. Um, I played on this one official server for quite a while, um, playing as like a solo player in tiny hidden little homes. It was funny because every time I stopped playing and then would come back a few weeks later, people would be like, oh my god, they're back. The ocean witches have returned because that's just... Why well, I decided on a whim to name my tribe. Um, and um, the the tribe that had like become the strongest, most popular tri populous tribe on the island and taken everything over had this kind of like uh, sort of vaguely affectionate regard for me. <laughs> um, and would. Uh, would generally tell people to leave me alone and let me let me make my little dinosaur friends. Because I found playing it in uh, in a uh, like a PVE server kind of pointless. Did I miss one? Oh, I missed one. Uh, I found it like kind of empty to play at PVE. Because um, the mechanics were the same, but without that like vague sense of danger that another player might fuck with my stuff, it just sort of lost all impetus. But um, the most efficient way to play in PvP is to form huge networks of people um, who extremely aggressively defend big, grey, identical rectangles. Um, which wasn't which wasn't the fantasy for me. Like I didn't fulfill the the fantasy of of Ark Survival Evolved. So I um something more like a um something more like a uh, a role play server might have been more to my uh, interest really because I wanted there to be the sense of danger that something might happen. But also, but I didn't want every uh, every interaction with another player to be tinged by a competitive self interest, um, in a sort of a must win the game kind of way. Hey, go like substance. Welcome to the stream. I'm playing smash things up with a big stick. Investigation. That's not what it's called. They've turned off the gas. I can't even make proper coffee anymore. We really need to bring in more clients. I'll reach out to Gordon and see if there's something else. I haven't heard back from the police. Is that thing sorted? Gordon Wu, thanks for helping me out with that building. The police were snooping around, but it seems to have cooled off and we can finally start construction. I have another job for you. I bought this yacht recently, but it's too large for the marina and the board says there's no space for a new dock. Could you use your demolition skills and remove one of the timeshare cabins? If the original documentation also appeared, then ta-da, it's like it was never there. Like I said, um, this man does not 
uh, fall down a slippery slope so much as he uh, goes headfirst down the slippery water slide. Just immediately dives straight in with both feet. So this is the second, uh, the second recurring map, which is the marina. Fancy timeshares, some public buildings, some warehouses, and an industrial thing. So this is again a uh, no alarms mission. So I don't need to worry about anything except starting fires. Gub Grill. Blue Tide sold here. Today's special, same as yesterday. Oh hey, free sunglasses, nice. Well, I suppose they're not free, they're $15. But they're free to me because I'm a thief. Steal the whole ass cash register. I mean, most of the things I steal in this game I'm stealing from rich assholes. I feel a little bit guilty knocking over some random seafront uh, food situation. Now a harbour office. That's probably got some valuables. As I've said before, I've played through the first several missions several times because I enjoy this game but I haven't stuck with it. So I do know where a bunch of the valuables are hidden. Such as this ProSuck vacuum cleaner worth $80. I think one of these... Aha! Yes, there we go. We also have the antique pirate sword hidden in the drywall. And the decorative swordfish. What else we got? For some reason I thought there was something in this room, but I don't see any hints that there might be such a thing hidden. Ceilings above offices are very popular places to hide illegal pension funds, in my experience. So I need to dump this safe in the water, which means I have to get it out of this building. Nice big hole here seems like a good start. I'll get like a van or something underneath it and push it out and then drive it. Vehicles are actually on the map, which is convenient. I can use this crane to do it, or I could put uh, like a bulldozer underneath, like a, a carrying truck. That's quite far away though. I've never tried it with just like an ordinary van though. Maybe I should uh, try cutting this Gordian knot. Oh wait, that's not going to work because there's stuff in the way. If I clear this out, can I get the van in there? Shrubberies are a fake idea. One thing that would be useful would be a broom item. As far as I know, there's nothing like that in the game by default, although modders have probably added it. But just something that would let me move like ch piles of crap around a bit more easily. Oh, they give you a broom way later. That's uh, an interesting decision. All right, that seems like a good start. Let's push that out the window. And if this doesn't work, I'll have just made a horrible mess for no reason. Can I even push it physically myself? Ah, there we go. 
<laughs> I'm a genius. Let's get it up on the on the fucking thing. No! Okay, I may not be a genius. I may be the opposite of that, actually. Alright, that didn't work out. I'm gonna go get the, uh, the crane instead. <laughs> I normally try and be very selective with my destruction. I like to try and make as little of a mess as possible. I feel like I feel like anyone can uh, just like sledgehammer the entire world flat and then get away with everything. I think uh, the mark of the the mark of the gentleman thief is only sledge sledgehammering holes through walls where necessary. It is, it is difficult before you get planks and ropes to do that sort of thing. But what I actually think the problem was, was I didn't get it... Yeah, no, you're, like, you're right. If I got it square on the top, it would have gone, like, gone in on a dent. But it hit at an angle and bounced off, so... Say la vie. There we go. Were there two? The outermost ca Oh, I have to destroy the entire cabin, of course. And then I have to get rid of the warehouse safe, which is over there. That'll be easier to do over there. I'm just going to leave this here. That's fine. I should have brought a car. Actually, I'll have a look and see if there's any other shit to steal. Such as this. Newlander MP3 player. I wish I had an MP3 player. I, I miss MP3 players. Oh, and binoculars. Everyone loves the Nox. I think I've, I th I've just realised I missed something in that house. There's something in the attic. There's always, always something in the attic. It's a universal rule. What's the easiest way to get up there? There, come on. Okay, that looks alright. Let's take that back a slight bit. Yeah, there we go. Haha! Uh, there appears to be fuck all up here. I have made a terrible mistake. to repeat that trick again in the community center this time because I'm nothing if not a bastard bingo trophy lovely honestly I'm probably doing a public service by stealing the bingo trophy you have no idea how competitive the Lord ladies get over bingo cash box lovely I know there's like four more pirate items around here somewhere. We found one pirate thing, but there's like a there's like a sextant and a cutlass and a some other stuff like a, I don't know treasure map pistol something like that blunderbuss.
Aha, there's one up here. Which looks like it's above roughly here. Haha! <laughs> I'm clever. Antique black powder gun, that's the one. Ah, maybe there's something under the stairs. Ah, haha, antique cannonball. I'm a genius. All right, there might be something else here, but I'm not gonna, not gonna bother uh, trying to find it. Can I swim? I can. I tried various methods of getting rid of this thing over the years. I always want to drop it into the sea. But that never quite works how I want it to. I felt guilty about some of the things I destroyed previously, but this is only a timeshare, so who really gives a shit? Nobody who has a timeshare is worth worrying about. Trying to sink your house, goddammit. Actually, it'd be fun if there was a current and doing this let, let the whole thing just sail away gently. <laughs> You know, I think it's time that we had a conversation about the negativity of the word scuttle. I think uh, a good scuttling is often fundamentally necessary. Oh, is the boat connected to the building? I thought it was connected to the dock. I don't have any ropes to connect it up. Maybe I can push it away. But, you know, a good scuttling is very important. People are always like, oh, you scuttled my boat, you scuttled my house. You scuttled around the room like an insect. It's just negative associations all the way down. But you know what scuttling does? It gets rid of the dead wood. It gives you an opportunity to uh, start anew. If we don't scuttle boats, new boats can't rise to the top. Oh, I know you meant scuttle as in deliberately sink. That's why I've been talking about it in that sense the entire time. I've always felt like scuttle to mean um, purposefully sink has a kind of like a, a connotation of giving up. It's like surrendering in a battle. Oh, look at that. 0.1 meters too tall. Fuck off with your 10 centimeter target requirement. All right, there was a terrible storm that blew through last night and slammed this guy's improperly parked boat into his own house. The perfect crime, they'll never know. Wait, is there pipes? There's no pipes. These guys are just pooping directly into the marina. This is terrible. Probably troubling that my first thought there was I should burn this man's house down. I don't know why the desire to burn these down has just emerged in my brain, but it has. It's powerful. Walkie talkies, nice. I can give one of these to my best friend that I don't have, says the protagonist of this game, who as far as I can tell is a man who lives only for destruction. He cares about his mama and uh, putting things in the water.
This thing's handling pretty badly. I wonder if I've got a flat tire. You see, this is low-key a funny joke because it's made out of voxels, so all of the edges are flat. Another power drill. Another day, another drill. on a spring. It is. I wonder if people do that in real life. I've never seen doors on, I've like doors have automatic closing mechanisms, but I've never seen them be on like a powerful spring. It could break your nose if you got it caught in that. Which I guess is one reason why you shouldn't stick your nose in where it doesn't belong. But that's never stopped me. I wonder what that's supposed to be. Is that a submersible drone camera? I feel like that should be valuable. I feel like I should be able to steal that. I think there's something valuable in this coal thingy. But I don't have the capacity to smash it open yet. One time, once, I found something valuable inside one of these uh, shipping containers in one level. And ever since then, I've had to check every shipping container and they never have anything valuable in. All these naive people leaving all kinds of valuable shit just lying around where anybody could take it. Tragedy, really. Just a bag of money. Okay, why is that there? For ethical reasons, I'm sure. Oh, what's that? is this? Oh, it's, oh, it's part of the, whatever that is. Is that a exhaust? A chimney? Maybe it's a radio beacon. I'm pretty sure there's, aha! Antique silver coins, hell yeah. If you run fast enough over these gaps, you don't fall down. It's like Sonic the Hedgehog. I think there's open space under here, so I'm going to smash a hole in the floor. And then I'm going to park a truck under it.
Oh, hey, those rollers physically work as rolling. That's cool. Get all this shit out of the way. All right, that looks good. Dump this stuff I don't need out of it. All right, that should be perfect. I love being a I love being a genius of larceny. It's like being Robin Hood. Oh fuck. It's like being Robin Hood. Except um I'm stealing from myself on behalf of a rich asshole, which is very similar to how Rip, you know Robin Hood was, obviously. Oh hey. There's an electric sander hidden in this boat. Yeet. Oh, did you see that? That was cool. I should throw things at things more often. All right, I think that's all the objectives. I'm going to get out of here. It's a shame I did not bring a car to, car to skedaddle in. I think yeeting things is one of my favorite ways of doing stuff in this game. Also, my previous rules of <laughs> play this game attempting to do as little damage as possible while still achieving your goals um, may have fallen by the wayside briefly. Much like this car nearly just did. But then again, these are still levels that I have played previously on stream, so... I don't think it's until we start getting to stuff I haven't seen before that will that I should start playing by my old old rules again. Gotta patch the hole in my ceiling, cause rain is falling, and the birds are seeing in, and the rain is falling, so I brought some planks, and I thought somebody would say thanks. But nobody thanks me for the work that I do. Cause I'm the only person living in this skidoo. So I have to thank myself for all the things that I do. Uh, to make this place livable for me and for you. Except I am the only one, so there is no you. Which is why I bought a shotgun. <laughs> Don't think about the implications of that sentence. Uh, you have missed very little art. It's always nice to see you, though. Congratulations for making it here. Um, I've literally played, like, the first three missions, um, which I have played on stream before, but I felt like playing through from the start again rather than picking up where I left off. Oh, fantastic. I got a girl like Substance Out Loud laugh. That's, like, the gold standard for me. If I manage to do that, then it's a good stream. All right, what am I doing? Oh yeah, I've probably got more terrible jobs to do. As soon as I check what's up here in the rest of the house. He's still powering his fridge with an electric car battery. You know, as opposed to a non-electric battery. Still sleeping on a camp bed, but he has at least constructed walls for his bedroom now, which is a step up. Let's see, Gordon Wu, classic cars. Oh, hell yeah, I love the cars missions. Fantastic work at the marina. Looks like it worked because they just cleared construction permits for the new dock. Another thing came up. There was a classic car auction in Black River the other day and one guy kept overbidding me. Lawrence Lee Jr., that youngster who inherited the chemical plant. No interest in cars, he's just looking for ways to rotate dirty money. It's a Gauss Seidel B50, the one they used in Seal Deal 2 and Colonel Wilson's personal Jacoby from Normandy. Lee's about to put those cars on a ship overseas any day now, and they'll be out of the country for good. If that's not criminal, I don't know what is. Can you help me acquire them? These, acquire these two gems? I'll take good care of them. So yeah, I did the tutorial mission. And then I did the two Lee Chemicals missions. 
the first two, which is just steal computers and then steal login devices with a time limit. <coughs> Excuse me, with a time limit. And then I did the first marina and now I'm doing the second marina. Uh, I'm also doing all of the side objectives, just like last time I streamed this game, because I'm obsessive. Classics of car. Wired alarm boxes. Car in the warehouse, put this in the truck. Car in the boat, put this in the truck. Oh, interesting. I never noticed this before. If it says it says whether it's on this whether it's above or below you, I guess. Documents in the office, spare parts in the warehouse. Those I can steal while I'm setting up the rest of this stuff. A car in the warehouse, I think, can be put successfully on a truck and moved around. The car on the boat, I'm gonna have to uh, move the boat, I think. So that'll be step one: move the boat. Always dispose of your spare scrap metals responsibly, such as uh, throwing it in the lake. This is true in real life as well. It's very important to um, safely dispose of any, any scrap metals you happen to have laying around by putting them in the water. You see, if you put them in the water, they can um, naturally dissolve and deliquesce, and they'll never harm anyone, ever. Oh, a jeep. I like that this is identifiably a jeep. I might might be a Land Rover, actually. The only jeeps I respect are the, like, classic 1940s jeeps. The one that looked like two rectangles stacked on top of each other and can fit four people and nothing else. Oh, this gate opens the wrong way. Oh well. I'll just have to use my new toy. It's not even, not even my new toy, really, actually, because this is... Uh, that would be the shotgun. Although, now that I have the shotgun, I can use it to uh, try and find whatever the secret that was hidden in here was. I'm starting to suspect I may have misremembered that there was a secret hidden in here. I thought for sure there was, though. It's like a coal thingy. Oops. Oh, that's fine. That'll buff out. Does this one open outwards also? Yes. My car's far enough back that I'll be nice. Going up to this one gate in the entire building and being like, you, you get to live. Right, what am I doing here? Oh, hi. Hello, welcome to the stream, first time chatter. I also love this game. I have not completed it. I've played 26 hours of the first half of the game. Because <laughs> uh, I keep starting over instead of just playing the whole damn thing. Why did I come here? Oh yeah, the, the flatbed truck, of course. This game is $60 right now? Good lord. I think I bought it in early access for like a tenner several years ago. Um, so I would recommend if you have the capacity that you uh, time travel in order to get a hold of it. Oh, okay. Oh, no, that is not a fire extinguisher. That is a fire guisher. Oh, okay. I don't know what BGN is. <clears throat> I did make an attempt as a child to learn the currencies of every nation, but sadly, 
I did not succeed. Oh, interesting. Aha, that's why that's still attached. There we go. Let's get rid of this. We can put this in the water along with all of the other scrap metals. The na nice, safe, natural habitat. Let's see, that's lined up with this. So I can probably just smash this wall out and not worry about it. The main difficulty with this with this mission is getting this one around without uh, causing problems. To be honest, I think everyone in this game is an asshole. <clears throat> the protagonist is a petty thief who steals people's like TVs out of their houses, which is generally a dick move. Both of the two rich guys hate each other, which is funny, uh, but neither of them really really deserve any of the wealth that they have. Uh, the cop. Uh, loves to do things extrajudicially rather than go through natural processes and of course is a cop which itself is an asshole creating uh, experience alright I think that's all of this stuff out of the way I suppose actually no the protagonist's mother is not an asshole as far as I know now that I think about it Gently tuck this uh, lifting mechanism away in a big pile of trash. Slightly more respectfully park my jeep, since jeeps deserve respect. This is why I refuse to learn to drive in real life. I don't trust myself not to accidentally clip a... Actually, shit, is there stuff in there? Nothing in that one. Is there something in this one? No. Okay. I don't trust myself not to accidentally clip a large, empty, um, fluid transport container. Or silo, perhaps. This game occasionally requires many, many brain cells. There is, there's a mission later that I always spend two hours playing. Oh god, oh god. Ah, fuck. <laughs> Oops. Oh boy. Okay, well that's bad news. Cuz I did not quick save. Oh dear. I believe that the um treasure items that you find remain found though, so that's good. Okay, right. I'm just going to do that again and not fuck it up this time, which means I can do it much faster. Cuz I won't be wandering around uh playing silly buggers as my grandmother used to call it. There's a banana under the house. Uh, I don't know which house you mean, but good to know nevertheless. If I just open all these gates, they'll stop being a problem. Anyway, if I reposition the cars to the exit first, then I can do all of the rest of this easily, which is what I was attempting to do last time, before I attempted to steal a car without lowering the flatbed, which is a rookie mistake. Um, one which Dominic Torrento would be ashamed of me, were he aware of my existence or my uh, auto theft proclivities. Although I suppose it is fair to say that since I'm doing this primarily because my mother can't pay the gas bills, this is about family. Oops. That's fine, that'll buff out, that's fine. Hmm. Where's the best place to park this? I'm just going to put it back where I had it before. The natural habitat of the um, forklift is, of course, nestled into a large pile of steel boxes. It's a, it's a widely known zoological fact. Let's 
God, throwing stuff is so fun. This is why I get in trouble in real life. I just like to play throwy. And when I said that, it was a joke, but now that I think about it, it's actually true. Uh, how old am I? Well, now, see, that's a question that traditionally one does not ask a lady. Um, I mean, I'm non-binary, but I feel like it should still apply. Yoot. Yoot. Uh, no, this one's too heavy. I did need to get rid of all this stuff anyway, so it's fine. Uh, what's the quick save button in this one? You'd think I'd learn this. I've played 26 hours of this game. How oh, this is not an 18 plus stream. I am 18 plus for what that is worth. But I will swear occasionally because I don't think not to swear. And I will occasionally talk about... Uh, uh, adult things because I also don't care to filter my uh, mode of speech and I will occasionally make jokes that some people may find inappropriate with regards to terrible biological functions the fuck am I doing? Um, quick save, that's what I'm trying to do what is quick save? Uh, don't see it does it not have a quick save shortcut? Do I have to quick save from the menu every time? What a peculiar thing to do. Quick saving is like one of the great cornerstones of gaming. Why would you not have it on F5 like every other game? Thank you. I also like my voice. A lot of people seem to like my voice very much. It is apparently one of my primary selling points. I personally think my best selling point should be the... Um, Peculiar things I say when my brain happens to get particularly unlatched from whatever I'm doing. Oh shit, was there something up here I needed? Yes, I need this thing. Now if I'm very careful, I can make this dangle outside the window. Which will make life a lot easier when I have to do some things later. You're saying you feel it's decadent to be able to rebind quicksave? I never- I try not to quicksave that stuff in- that much in games like Deus Ex, uh, Immersive Sims and so on. They are my favourite genre, but I, um, generally feel like one should have to live with one's mistakes. To a degree. To a degree, to a degree. It's fine for me to quick load here. Ah, right. Whoops, I still need to remove this staircase. That's fine, though. You can find a man who's, who's, a man whose best mate is named Baz and ask him, and he'll say, of course, we can remove a staircase in a single weekend. Provided that you pay me tax-free income. Middle-aged men named Baz are, like, Flies to honey for tax-free income. Pay me under the table and I will do whatever you wish. Says Baz. Who is bald and pink. Oh god, that reminds me. I should really play uh, Giants Citizen Kabuto again. What a strange game. You know, if you want to play a game, but you can't afford to play a game, there is an interesting mechanism that I'm not allowed to talk about publicly on the internet. The people of my generation are intimately familiar with, or rather, with which people of my generation are intimately familiar. If one were to cartoonishly describe it, you could use uh, terms similar to Privateering, perhaps. Thoughts evoked of the kind of people who wear tricorn hats and uh, like to drink rum. <laughs> I 
It's true, it's true. Although the ir irony is that I never used to pirate shit when I was young. I only started pirating um, when I got older. Um, nobody clip that and send it to a game studio if I become famous later. Right now, I am small enough of a streamer and YouTuber that nobody gives a shit what I say. Someday, they may object to me using the P word publicly. Alright, let's reposition this thing. Got to remember to lower the ramp, but not all the way. Take it very slow and steady. Absolutely feather that gas pedal. Gently get just beyond range and then raise it up so that we don't have the terrible disaster we had last time. There we go. Uh, that is how one steals a car from a flatbed truck. Don't need to worry about this one. Haha, <laughs> suck it. Oh, Christ. Oh, God. This is, again, why I don't drive in real life. On the other hand, in real life you get to use a steering wheel rather than a uh, WASD, which makes life noticeably easier. Now, if I line this up carefully, I should be able to back in rather than drive directly in, which will make my life a bit easier. Because I believe... Actually, let's check this. Let's find out. Let's do some science up in this bitch. If I drive directly over this... Yes, okay, that's what I thought. Vanishing a car as if by magic will set off the alarm. <laughs> yes. Don't don't drink and drive. Don't don't wazd and drive. Don't don't something. I'm very tired. I've just had my first trip out of town for two years. And boy are my arms tired. Alright, that's one car set up. The other car is on the boat. That's gonna be the second setup. And then we will need to construct a route that will allow us to grab the other items and get back here in time. Um, I'm not going to tell you live on stream how to pirate video games. I am going to suggest to you that you use the magical wonders of the information technology we have available to us to seek out that information for yourself, should you wish it. I can neither comment in favour of or against piracy. Uh, I can merely admit to you that piracy is a thing that exists and is an option a human being might choose if they wanted to obtain digital goods without paying for them. Why did I come back over here? This isn't where the other car is. Although, actually, I will need to set up a car at some point, probably. Are you actually having rum? Oh, I should have some rum. It's been ages since I had a nice rum. A rum and coke would really go down on a lazy uh, summer afternoon. Oh, I fucking missed my boat again. God damn it. Weird, weird pirate related coincidence. I was just on board a um, preserved 46 gun frigate the other day. Um... My, my trip out of town was an experiment to see if my disabilities have subsided enough that I am physically capable of leaving and going for a bit of a walk. Which it turns out, yes, but not too much, which means I'm miserably unwell today because I stupidly went for um, way too much of a walk. But I did get to see a preserved um, frigate with... Uh, from about 200 years ago, almost exactly 200 years ago, which happens to have all of its original timbers intact. It was really lovely, a very cool thing to see and explore. And um, Unlike a lot of um, preserved historic ships, it actually has um, like access throughout the entire thing. So I was able to um, 
clamber around all of the, I think they call them monkey ways, like the little, the little carpenter paths throughout the tiny bowels of the ship. Apparently it would have had a crew of, I think, 350, which is insane. A remarkable number of people to squish into that small of a space. Um, not unlike student housing nowadays. Can I pick that up from here? Maybe, maybe not. 350, oh man, that's, uh, that's the old magic. I haven't heard that one in a long time. Right, actually, if I back this up to the bridge, then I might be able to get a hold of it the way I want to without so much hassle. Luckily, boats behave pretty much exactly like cars. Not a lot of people know this. It's true in real life as well. If you ever need to uh, pilot a boat, you will discover. Basically, just a big car. Nice. <laughs> Now, if I pick this up correctly and move it just right, I should be able to just drive the car straight into the exit without issue. Uh, I don't even know what you mean by those questions, I'm afraid. Oh, oh god, oh Christ. This is not what I was hoping would happen. <laughs> uh, well, I've, uh, hmm concerning. I have sunk my only means of removing this container from the ship. In fact, I don't know if there's any way to get this thing off of here without without using the, um, the what do you call it? <laughs> I'm gonna have to load again. Oh god, how long ago was that? I was here? Oh, Christ. Alright, if I lower this, I can just back this directly into the exit. I'm sure I figured out a way to make this line up better before, but I don't know what it was. I remember having a much easier time getting this car into the thingamajig. Okay, alright, I'm going to come up with a slightly different plan this time. Oh, hey, look, I can still use the button. <laughs> wow, it operates by uh, quantum entanglement, I guess. How do I lower it? Oh, God, was there a lower button as well? Have I screwed myself? Oh, is there something in the treadmill in the guy's house? I'd never thought to smash his treadmill. I've smashed many things in his house, but I never thought to smash his treadmill so to speak. Oh, did I forget something? Is there something in here to steal? Doesn't look like it. Oh, hang on, maybe it does. What's that? Cinder blocks are an innovative new technique for making extremely valuable, terrible sculptures. Ah, there is something. I'm a genius. Actually, there's something on this boat as well. Uh, I have not watched... Uh, SMI7Y. I have no idea who that is. I actually don't watch a lot, don't watch many other streamers because uh, while my brain functions well for streaming, I, I struggle to watch other streams. Hmm, I thought there was some treasure. Oh well, I guess not. Alright, gotta save this time.
I wonder if, hmm, maybe if I drive under the bridge and then lower the bridge. Oh, but I couldn't find the bridge lowering option. No, I'll go back to my original plan, which was to make a very awkward seven point turn and back into that uh, section over there. I don't even know if that is another streamer. I'm totally guessing because that's the kind of name that a streamer would have. Something about big old boats like this that make me think of whales. In a vaguely affectionate manner. Alright, if I can ram this in real good. I should be able to get a hold of my, my prize a bit more easily. Yeah, that looks promising. Alright, let's try this. What a convenient... Uh, large patch of sheet metal. If only we could all be so useful. Alright, we should be golden. There is something deeply, um, there's something deeply in just like human about a big patch of sheet metal. There's just something right about it. it. Just feels natural and correct. I'm gonna have to get rid of this though. If I'm ever walking around in the street. Yeah, exactly. If only I could be so grossly incandescent. If I'm ever walking around in the street and I just see a big thing of um sheet metal lying around on the street. I just... oops. Oh, okay. Um... Oh dear. That's not right. Haha, uh... <laughs> there we go. I win again. It's just deeply comforting to see some, like, scrap metal lying around. That was one of the nice things about my little trip recently, because I went to Dundee. I live in Aberdeen, currently. But I went all the way to Dundee, and what I discovered there is that, oh, okay, sheet metal, how have you betrayed me like this? I can't believe I trusted you. What I discovered is that while Aberdeen is in a terrible decline, and so is Dundee, Aberdeen's decline has resulted in a lot of, uh, oh, Ah, uh, balls. <laughs> I trusted you, sheet metal. Uh, Aber Aberdeen's, like, full of rotting garbage, and um, extremely miserable grey streets are full of rotting garbage also. Whereas Dundee is, like, just as economically deprived, but the simple lack of any kind of maintenance going on has resulted in just lovely old buildings slowly mouldering in a way I find kind of existentially pleasing. I took so many photos of uh, battered brownstone buildings with big piles of rusty crap and sheet metal. Okay, actually, new plan. New plan. Traitors get thrown overboard. <laughs> I made I made the plank walk, you see. Alright, let's try this again. Let's get real crunchy on that back row. Just gently back in with it. Are we sinking? Oh shit, we're sinking. That might be okay. Potentially. How sunk are we going to sink? Anyway, art, art, I can completely understand why this would uh, generate a lifelong distrust of sheet metal in you. I would absolutely also be extremely mistrustful of sheet metal in that circumstance. When I was little, I was at the bus stop waiting to go home from school. 
and um, there was a loud bang from a car across the street, and a and a and a small shard of a shard of metal, a splinter the size of my finger, whacked into the wall right next to me. So, I've never trusted splinters of metal ever since that day. I'm starting to think this thing is not dense enough to perform its major uh, operational purpose. I'm also not sure what I'm doing wrong, because I've done this mission tons of times, and I've always done it like this, and I can't quite figure out what I'm doing. What I'm, what I'm doing different this time that I didn't do previously. Maybe I should just back it into position and drive it instead of doing this. My, my, my t completion time will be slightly worse, but at least I will complete it. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do instead. Actually, no, I want to try the uh, lowering of the bridge first. Let's try that instead. Get over here real gently. Line it up nice. That looks good. You can't get your ankles wet while doing thefts. Uh, when can you? Ooh. That didn't quite work out how I thought it was gonna. Huh. How does buoyancy work? If I if I scooch forwards, will that suddenly pop up? Vertical like. Do I have enough shotgun to... No, I don't have enough shotgun to make a hole in there. That's no good. I can pop this off, though. Which may or may not cause further problems down the line. Yote. Grand. Okay, that's out of the way. Let's see what happens now. Oh, but I won't be able to lift it up the thing if I can't smash it. That's no good. Plan also failed. Fun fact about the flavours of metals. One of the reasons why people used to get lead poisoning all the fucking time is because lead is quite sweet. So food served on lead dishes would become sweeter, which was just nice before things like sugar were easily available. History. It's a terrible place, but full of interesting facts. Hmm, that wall's in the way. I'm gonna have to smash holes in it if I want to get through that way. Okay, anyway, this is a plan I've never tried before. This time I'm gonna back up onto here. And attempt to simply drive out. I think, I think that's what old Sheety here is for, but I'll need to smash this first. This is an innovative new gardening technique I've developed called beat the fucker to death. <laughs> Can't smash these though, I'll have to get a truck to do that. Oh, a forklift! Brilliant, perfect. Forklift is exactly what I need. I've never been betrayed by a forklift. Unfortunately, I don't have any other facts about the flavours of metal. Just that one. Oh, surgical precision. Absolute delicacy. I could whip out a melanoma with this. I mean, I wouldn't, but I could. If I was in some kind of emergency hospital scenario. And also I was a doctor. Actually, you know what? Why should I let my lack of education get in the way of my dreams? If I want to remove melanomas, I should be allowed to do that. Regardless of whether or not I'm properly trained. 
All right, that looks good. I should try and get, a bit, get rid of a bit more of this, actually. Let's see. All right, I'm just going to dump this in the water because I don't need it anymore. <laughs> go on, get. <laughs> All right, there we go. So, okay, that's the cars lined up in a less efficient way than the previous way I used to do this mission, but that's fine, I guess. Documents there. Okay. All right, my plan should probably be... Okay, so document, speedboat to here, jeep to the exit. And then these two cars. It's a shorter trip to go this... What? That, rather than one, two, three... Yeah, I'm going, I'm going three sides of a square if I go that way, and I'm going two sides of a square if I go that way, which means I should move the speedboat over here first and position a car here. And there's a car over here, so that's fine. I'll use that one. Okay. Grand. That does mean I need to put the bridge back down, though. Will this stop automatically when it hits the minimum height? Perfect. Let me just get rid of this inexplicably still lit street lamp back in the water with all of the other bits of metal. You know what? That's a perfect place to throw that. That's not going to cause any problems when boats try, try to come through here later. There's trucks in the way. You know what a truck's made of? Primarily metal. And as we've established, the natural habitat of metal things is in the water. Oopsie daisy, that was not the three point turn I meant to make. Nor was that. Once again, this is why I don't drive. Uh, this would just happen to me instantaneously in real life and then I'd be out however much money a car costs. Like $500? Ah, fuck, this thing's hard to drive. There we go. That's more like it. That perfect three-pointer I did earlier was clearly a fluke. Actually, it probably would have been smarter to leave that on the other side of the building and then go straight through the building. Knock, knock, motherfucker. Right, up we go. Is this. Actually, I should save before I start fucking about with another one of these, just in case I screw it up again. So if I put that there, can I reach that from the ground? Yeah. Can I, can I just real gently scooch it over? Huh, interesting. Is that because like the car manufacturers lobbied the government America style or was there some kind of other rationale behind it? Hell yeah, speedboats. They go very fast in one direction and very slowly in all of the others. And they break very easily if you run into things. Please don't sink. Please don't sink. I need you. I'm not going to line that up more carefully. That's probably fine. Shit, I knocked down the staircase. Well, somebody didn't think ahead. And that somebody may have been me. Can I climb up here? I don't, <laughs> I don't have the uh, planks tool unlocked yet, so... Balls. Oh, I done fucked it up again. <laughs> yeah, because see, I feel like if you incentivize people destroying their cars rather than giving away used cars, you mostly end up with 
incentivizing people to buy new cars, which are generally, like, even if they are more fuel efficient or whatever, they're a lot bigger and potentially messier. Like, if you get some, someone to get rid of their petrol car, they aren't necessarily going to buy a, uh electric car or whatever. They're just going to buy a, a more modern petrol car instead. Okay, I think I'm ready to try this. Let's go. One. Running, 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 jumping, driving. Can I crash this directly into that? No, I probably shouldn't. Oh, fuck. Okay. That's okay. That's what the quick save is for. Unfortunately, that's not what my stream is for. Quick load. My stream is for playing games with either a high degree of skill or a high degree of critical interpretation. One or the other. And today I'm doing neither because I'm sick. Although I should, as always, mention that I have a YouTube channel where I do in-depth Let's Plays that are kind of on hiatus at the moment. But still, the old archive ones are worth checking out. I think they're very good. So do some people here. Get out of the way. We'll be alright, it's fine. Uh Timing's a bit tighter than previous times, but uh, I still made it. I still made it. Ninja is honestly a pretty good, pretty easy thing to Google. Or DuckDuckGo if you're worried about Google knowing what you're up to. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for me for today. I usually try and limit my streams to two hours due to my busted lungs not working. Although, I guess I'll smash the treadmill to see what that's about. Let's see. Aha, here we go. Hmm, I uh, failed to see what the point of that was. Anyway, yeah, that's going to be it from me for today. If you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe and share. If you'd like to watch live, I have a regular streaming schedule on Twitch, with a Discord server for announcements and updates. Thank you so much to my patrons and donators, and if you'd also like to contribute to my existence, you can do so at Patreon or Ko-fi. All of the links are in the description and on my about pages here and on Twitch. Thank you so much for watching.